This is a story about a game like no other. Power and speed, violence and grace. In a home like no other, the greatest student section in all of college hockey. This is our story. The Penn State Hockey Story. We're watching <laughs> the Andrew Sturt slash Jay-Z story. Hobie's home, baby. Welcome to the big city, big cash, big cars. We are the superstars living in a big city, big cash, big cars. We are the superstars. Hello, everyone. Welcome to New York. When I roll through in the Lambo, they touch sky. Wait, if I do 100. Sure, go ahead, say it. We are in Times Square. <laughs> and we are Penn State. About my business, I keep that person now. I write it, then I ignite it, put the verses down. I never speak with a client unless it's worth my while. Lavish living is easy when you're a pro at it. And when the things get hot, I throw some snow at them. Cool them off real quick, that keeps my dough active. This is no practice. I'm a ball. This is awesome. This is awesome. So cool. Oh. It is first class. Absolutely, and I think all the guys can attest to that as well after being in juniors. No, no Motel 8's on our travel schedule. It's, uh, it, it's first class. Uh, I feel like I get treated like an NHL player. Our, our treatment is probably better than we will get in any form of pro hockey above, with the exception of the NHL. We eat like kings. Especially coming from a, a junior league with you know, perhaps quite a bit less, less funding than, than a program like this, it is absolutely remarkable, and uh, we're uh, don't take it for granted, that's for sure. I spent four years riding on a bus uh, in the USHL, and not to say that was bad, but when you can charter flights and, and fly, it's, it makes things so much easier. Being 6'5 and traveling 10 hours in a bus is not fun, I will tell you that. So, and that is what three-fourths of college hockey does every weekend, but we travel first class. I'm the best at every IPAC game, it's a, it's a fact. Like invest in houses and Luke, the finance major, Luke. Invest and in, just build this money okay, up. It's pretty it. funny. Look how many houses he has already on the side. All the houses. You gotta be smart with your money. Oh god. I just lost 48. He's <laughs> getting cocky. Yeah, that's what you get. everything, don't you? <laughs> I have to clean it all up tomorrow. Uh, Penn State University does a great job in supporting its student athletes and, and for us they make it very easy for us. They cooperate with us as much as possible to make to have the, the effects of travel uh, minimized as much as we can. Travel isn't uh, a liability to you academically. It's quick and easy. Oh, you gotta guess the letter. And you just guess the word. Oh, you said axe? I thought you said axe. Yeah, don't hang me, bud. I thought you said axe. No, axe. Oh! Alright. We, we get spoiled pretty well. Um, we really can't complain about it. We're, we're treated first class, and, and it's just fantastic. Um, it just makes you want to give so much more to the team and, and the university because I feel like we're just given a huge gift. March 17th through the 19th, the Excel Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. Shoot, score! The 2016 Big Ten Men's Ice Hockey Tournament. A game-changing save. Six teams. There's an opening. He scores! One champion. Be a part of it all. Are you kidding me? Ticket packages are available now at the Excel Energy Center box office or at Ticketmaster.com. You're watching the
We are live from Madison Square Garden as Super Saturday continues at the world's most famous arena in New York City. So how cool is it for a young man from Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta, population 20,000 to be playing in the world's most famous arena? Yeah, absolutely. Point of experience. It's uh, a once in a lifetime probably for most of us and uh, looking forward to it. Truly an amazing atmosphere for players, coaches, media, everyone involved pretty cool this is really awesome and it's a great great opportunity great experience for us our whole program and if you walk around outside right now you hear we are all over the place the Penn Staters are so good they're so great and uh, really looking forward to the atmosphere What a night. Penn State takes over New York City and brings with it everything that makes Hockey Valley special. The roar zone, the fans, the atmosphere. The legend of the Nittany Lion is humble. Those lions are protectors of the Princess Nittany. They live on the mountain that bears her name. Over watching the inhabitants of the valley, today's lions are sworn to protect the pride of the people of Penn State. In their last battle of the year with the Gophers, they would need to embody their namesake in more ways than one. So if there's anybody right now with the attitude about let's go and keep this thing close, don't go. Stay right here. If you want to go and work your ass off for 60 minutes and play, have a great performance and come out with a win, then go ahead. Immediately, the ice felt different. There was a confidence that was not there the night before. The shift in favor of the Lions. That feeling embodied in freshman Matt Mendelssohn. Start from the on two to the gopher line. Fires your horse, loose to his crease. Rebound, score! Followed up right in front. Sheerhorn could never locate the puck. The Nittany Lions have 
off the goal. And Tim, I do believe it is finally Matt Mendelssohn with his first career goal on the rebound. The young Lions' first goal felt like a much-needed good omen going into the second period. Minnesota pushback was coming. Our Lions would need to weather a second period. Oh, the Ducks score! It's up! Oh, a long range blast from the line by Jake Bischoff! The Gophers had the Lions cornered and outnumbered, but they would not back down. Puck sailing down low, right in front, and a point blank drive by Luke Yuha just buries it. Good win, muscles it deep into the Gopher zone, below the goal line, Glenn. Glenn to Mark, centers, Yuha shot, scores! Three, two, Nittany Lions with 9.25 to go here in the second. And Penn State reclaims the lead. A bounding puck. Here's Fashing, two on two. Fashing got his sliding score. It's close. A short-handed goal, the sixth of the year for Minnesota. You know what? It's 3-3 in Mariucci. We haven't won to be here before. 20 minutes left. I'll take that any day, boys. No passive mistakes. Not one passive mistake. We're all going to make mistakes in this game. Guarantee it. But they better be because we're going balls out for the boys. Right? Yeah. So let's play to win it. We're not playing to save 3-3. Let's play to win it. Short shifts for 20 minutes to balls out to win this game. Hey, boys? Okay? Come on. We got to do it. Blues puck picked up by Clues. It is five on two. They're changing now. Gophers four on two and a blast on the rebound. Second time's the charm on that one and Minnesota takes the lead again. Early in the third, the Golden Gophers would have taken the lead from the Lions if it wasn't for the ever watchful eyes of equipment manager Adam Sheehan who noticed something the officials had not. Back here at Mariucci, the play was ruled in offside, so we were still tied at three. It was Taylor Camerata, a step ahead of the play, into the Penn State zone. Hey, Beavis, nice call! With new life, the Lions mounted an attack on the Gophers' netminder launching puck after puck, driving to the net with speed and giving Minnesota no room to breathe. Then it finally happened. Zach Saar would release a shot that would light fire to the ice and a fire in the heart of his team. The fire again, scores! Zach Saar has given Penn State the lead. Four to three with 3.51 to go. Persistence pays off. And the big man puts the Nittany Lions in front. Finally, they had regained the lead, but there was an army of rabid gophers making their final ascent. The Lions' cry heard from atop the peak. 
do anything to protect Mount Nittany. An untimely icing would pin the Lions deep in their zone with under a minute to play. On this day, the Lions strode as fearless heroes from the mountain, and the people of the valley knew only happiness. Last win, last win in here, Uchi. You got a game pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're going to be a good way. 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 Hey, you're going to be